big race over the past weekend was the third matchup between Ali Sheba and Ferdinand out at Santa Anita. Well, look at the first few just to get you a caught up, let's say. The big one was the Breeders' Cup, $3 million on the line. Here's Tom Durkin's call of that classic confrontation. Narrow Nose earned Ferdinand Horse of the Year and for a moment settled the rivalry. And the second meeting came a little more than a month ago between Ali Sheba and Ferdinand. It was in the big cap, the million dollar Santa Anita handicap in March. Here's Trevor Denman's call of that one. Sheba and Chris McCarran passed the quarter pole in front in the big cap. Ferdinand coming after him. Super Diamond and Judge Angelucci now drop back. They come for home. Ali Sheba. score was 1-1. Beginning this week, though, they both have equal weights, so to speak, both on Lasix. Today, they're both on Lasix. The race, I'm sorry, was on Sunday. It's a big race in California, practically at equal weights. It's round three, Ali Sheba versus Ferdinand. The San Bernardino Handicap at Santa Anita, $530,000 was the pot because these two went to the post. The distance, a mile and a furlong. Here again is Trevor Denman. Fields sent on their way in the San Bernardino. Alashiva breaks smartly. So does Ferdinand. Now here comes Good Taste to take up the running on the outside. Foreign Legion goes with him between horses. Nostalgia Star drops back to trail by four. They head to the 7 8 pole, and that's Good Taste out there on the lead. But Chris McCarran not happy with the pace. He takes Alashiva off the rail and goes to put some pressure on Good Taste. Ferdinand is right there, just a length behind Alashiba as they go to the three-quarter pole. Foreign Legion races fourth and four back to Nostalgia Star. They pass the three-quarter pole and Good Taste getting on with it now out there, leading it a length and three-quarters. Alashiba going along very comfortably. Chris McCarran just perched up on him with that long rein right there second. Bill Shoemaker going to go up and try and keep him in there, though. There's Ferdinand going up to put pressure on them now behind that foreign legion and nostalgia star they pass the half mile pole alice sheba still doing it so easily right there between horses chris mccarran still sitting on him but he's going quickly now ferdinand's gonna go up and take him on though and here's the match race we've been waiting for alice sheba at the rail ferdinand alongside 127 pounds each and they're gonna go nose and nose for the wire a length and a half back good taste is trying to hang tough in third Heads a turn for home. Ferdinand on the outside and Alice Sheba. Neither riders asked for a full effort yet. Ferdinand on the outside puts his head in front. Alice Sheba trying to come back and in good taste, running a huge race on the outside. But it's Ferdinand and Alice Sheba nose and nose for the wire. Good taste coming on on the outside. Alice Sheba going to get there at the rail with Ferdinand. Alice Sheba has won it by a nose. That's what's known as living up to advanced billing. Ali Sheba by a nose over Ferdinand. And what about the new player in the game? Good taste. He finishes third in a game third he was. Had the lead, lost it, and came back again. The final time, 147-1. And, and Ali Sheba has now bested Ferdinand in two of their three matchups. I'd have to say that's the best rivalry since Affirmed and Ali. Wish we had that here. Speaking of Affirmed and